convicted Ponzi schemer Bernie Madoff changing his story on who knew what about his multi-billion dollar fraud. He gave an exclusive interview to our very own Adam Shapiro in prison earlier today. And Adam joins us now from outside the prison, the prison in Butner, North Carolina, with more to share the conversation with us. And Adam, start with simply how did he look? Um, well, he looks as a, like a healthy 75-year-old, actually, a man with stage 4 kidney disease. Uh, not immediately life-threatening, but not a good thing. Uh, but he looks healthy for 75. He says he's ashamed of what he's done and that he has a lot of remorse for the uh, people he's harmed. He says the reason that he speaks to me and other reporters is he wants to get the message out there. He's trying to help the federal government and the trustee recover funds uh, that essentially were stolen from thousands of people whose lives he threw into, in his own word, havoc and chaos. Now, there is a lawsuit out there, the J.P. Morgan Chase lawsuit. Now, J.P. Morgan Chase was Mr. Madoff's uh, primary bank, his account there for uh, over 20 years. And he talked about a lawsuit by trustee Irving Picard against the bank, a lawsuit that has, for the most part, been dismissed on standing, but not on the grounds of the suit, and that's under appeal. And a portion of that suit still lives. But essentially, what the trustee has said and what Mr. Madoff says is that the bank should have known what they were up to. And now Mr. Madoff, in our interview, says not only did they know, they really knew. Here's the quote. There's no question, Mr. Madoff says, that J.P. Morgan is guilty. They would have to be idiots to not realize what was going on. And he says the reason for that is because of the falsified uh, SEC reports that he filed with the bank and the brokerage statements that clients at the bank that would not match up with the reports he was giving them monthly. Now, the bank, of course, has responded to this. A source close to J.P. Morgan Chase tells Fox Business that Madoff has made these false accusations many times in past interviews. Mr. Madoff says that the inspector general's office from the United States Treasury has contacted him and that they are investigating these accusations against J.P. Morgan Chase. We've called the IG's office for confirmation on that. They have not responded to us, and there was no comment from J.P. Morgan Chase on that matter. They declined to comment. Lori? And Adam, when we spoke last hour, I asked you if you believed Madoff in many, <laughs> most uncertain terms. He said not really buying it. Uh, but in particular with these charges he's making against J.P. Morgan, what does Madoff ultimately want? What kind of punishment? Why is he so adamant? To point he, it's there. not about punishment, Lori. He says he, it's not about punishment. He says it's about getting money back. And here's some of the, at least as the trustee paints it in that lawsuit, the questions that haven't been answered yet. J.P. Morgan Chase in the fall of 2008 told the United Kingdom's serious organized crime agency that they suspected fraud at Madoff. The question that Madoff could not answer and that has not yet been answered in court is why did J.P. Morgan Chase not put a freeze on his account at that point when they notified U.K. authorities about a fraud? This is roughly three months before it all became public. And why did they not, if they did, or what did they do? Did they notify anyone in the United States about that? So that now Madoff is answered. trying to be an advocate for the victims that he ripped off by trying to get them money back from J.P. Morgan? I'll let you say that, not me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Great reporting, Adam. Thank you. Yeah. Interesting stuff. I mean, you know, the bottom line is, can you believe something from one of the biggest liars in history? But yeah, his credibility is questionable, yeah, you wouldn't you say? Hmm. Well, coming up, the real story on